Uh, hi, in this video, we will talk about Selenium Manager in Selenium WebDriver. Okay, Selenium Manager in Selenium WebDriver. And this is newly introduced in version 4.6.0. Okay, the Selenium Manager is introduced in version 4.6.0. So what do you mean by Selenium Manager now? Okay, so normally, if you want to launch any browser, Chrome, Firefox, Edge, whatever it is, so we need to download what we will do. So we need to download and configure Chrome driver dot exe, gecko driver dot exe, edge driver dot exe. So we will use exe files, right? Respective dot exe files to launch the respective browsers, right? So from 4.6.0, we don't need to download and configure these exe files to launch the browsers okay so now no need these things are not needed so previously what we need to do so first point is we need to configure these exe files to launch respective browsers for that we have different options so that is one is set system property right we used to set the system property Second one is set environment variable. The same way, same, same option, but we need to, uh, we will use set environment variable to launch your browser. Okay. And the third option is third party APIs. So automatic management of exe files. All right. Just like the frequently used is web driver manager this is created by boni garcia okay so at present we are using if you are not using 4.6.0 then any one of these three things we are already using to launch your browser but now with the help of 4.6.0 they introduced selenium manager then we don't need to download exe files and configure okay so this is not needed okay we don't need this one this option no and this option is also no so we can simply launch your browser from version 4.6.0 right so what we need to do so before that first we'll go to the official documentation of selenium manager you see that if you go to official website selenium.dev slash blog slash 2022. So introducing Selenium Manager, right? And this is who is the, you know, like uh, developing or no, uh, providing this, uh, providing to the Selenium community, the same guy who developed WebDriver Manager. You see that by Boni Garcia. Okay. So they are trying to implement same thing. What is there in the WebDriver Manager so in the Selenium out of the box by uh, making that as a Selenium manager, I think. So, but with the help of this, we don't need to download .exe files and configure. Okay. So if you want to read about these things, so I'll provide this link in the description. So you can go through this one. But here you can see that introducing to Selenium manager, they have provided that some information here. Okay. So now we will go to IntelliJ. So we'll try to write one program and see whether it is really working or not. Okay. So I'll write test ng test public wide use Chrome browser. Just I'm just naming like that. So normally what we need to do system dot set property. Right. Then web driver dot Chrome dot driver and then path to exe file right path to exe file right this is one option otherwise so if you use web driver manager web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup something like that right so now we don't need all these things i'll just remove okay so and i'm using it is a maven project i'm using 4.6.0 Selenium Java. Okay. So now here, 
now web driver driver is equals to new chrome driver that's it we do not we don't need to download exe files and configure all these things this single line is enough now okay so we'll see whether it is opening browser or not you see that it opened the browser right so previously this is not the case okay so if you still want to see that so i don't exactly remember that mvn repository so go here selenium So just click on Selenium Java, and what is that? Four point five point three. Okay. So if I go to IntelliJ and change this to four point five point three, four point five point three, and just refresh, it will download the four point five point three version. So that is not there in my machine. So it will download. Yeah, it's done. Right. so now if i go here and if i try to run the same program now you see what is the difference you can see so before 4.6.0 we do not have that option you see that the path to the driver executable driver executable so must be set you see that must be set by web driver dot chrome dot driver system property so that is what we discussed right system property so now if you change to 4.6.0 then we don't need will not get that option that error the reason is automatically it will manage so we'll try to write some program so driver dot uh, driver dot manage dot window dot maximize and driver dot get i will go to https dev dot automation testing dot in and then i will try to print driver dot get title okay simply i am writing one program whether it is navigating to that url or not we'll just verify okay so let it execute so i think it's not updated let me refresh this so i think now it got sync let me try again i think this time it will execute you see that it started working so maximize it is navigating to dev dot automation testing dot okay so it's working perfect so now we'll try to see whether it is working with firefox and edge all these things so i'll copy paste the same thing so again so here instead of use chrome browser i will use firefox browser and i'll change this to firefox driver so here also we don't need to download gecko driver and configure we can directly write web driver driver is equals to new firefox driver so we'll see whether it is working fine or not the same program so yeah you see that it opened maximized and it is navigating to the same url okay so it is working fine with firefox driver also okay we'll give a try with uh, edge driver also once okay so i'll change this to edge browser so edge driver and let me execute this the same program but i am trying with different browsers whether 4.6.0 selenium manager is working or not okay so it opened uh, edge browser also and it is navigating to the same url and working fine so now selenium manager is working fine with all the browsers chrome driver firefox driver edge driver so this headache is not there now okay but where 
this information is downloading so there is a class called selenium manager you see that selenium manager so i think sm is equals to new selenium manager so selenium manager dot one second there is one class called selenium manager you see that so it is coming from org dot open queue dot selenium dot manager dot selenium manager so i think if you click here you see selenium manager we have a constructor here and you can see get instance of this instance of selenium manager and you can get where the driver files are downloading and saving you see get driver path you need to mention driver name this is chrome driver or gecko driver or ms edge driver okay so now we'll see where these files are storing in our machine selenium web drive selenium manager dot get instance dot get driver path i'll mention chrome driver okay chrome driver and then string location i can say and then i'll print this so now i will print uh, location of exe files okay and then i'll put the location okay now if i try to run this one if i try to run this one we will see you see that location of exe files it's already printed here so c user something like that so now we will go to that particular location and we will see whether the files are there or not okay so one second so i copied this till here and if i go to that particular location so paste here you see that here chrome driver and windows 32 are different versions so if you have latest version it will automatically download that version if you go inside you see chrome driver right this is what we used to download and configure now we don't need to do all these things selenium manager will take care automatically right so if you go to you see that gecko driver here also you see according to the version is a gecko driver the same way ms edge driver you see if it is latest version you see ms edge driver so all these things can be happened automatically with the help of selenium manager okay so now they made it very simple most of waiting feature from long time so for this uh, we so we were you know like uh, depending upon some third party apis like web driver manager otherwise we need to configure manually all these things right so if you have a older version of exe file and in your version of browser there is a compatibility issues and your browser will not launch otherwise it will not open okay it will not navigate you will get so many issues uh, because of compatibility issues now whatever the browser in your machine according to that it will download the respective exe file and it will use that to launch your browser so this is one of the best features so we were waiting from long time now at last they introduced in 4.6.0 right so that's all in this video thank you